Hi everyone, uh, please let me know if you can hear me and see the screen and please type your answers to our chat and I will wait for your replies and if everything is fine, I will start our webinar. Thank you. So I have received messages that everything is okay, so that's good and let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Valerie and I'm Stripe Support Manager. And today I would like to start our webinar with a general information about our company. So Stripe company is registered in the USA, but our physical team is located in Ukraine. So we would like to create the best email editor in the world. So we are open for your suggestion, requests and feedbacks. Uh, how we can improve our editor. And please write to us uh, via this chat here at, um, at the right bottom corner uh, or write to our support Stripe email box. Uh, I will duplicate our mailbox to the chat um, later and uh, please write to us and we will consider your proposals um, and you can check in improvements and features in our release notes, which you can track here, uh, here in at the bottom of our general page. So here you can find a uh, release notes. So here you can track our changes and um, new features, so which we added. Let's wait for a moment, please. Something happened with my internet, sorry. So here you can track it regarding editor. And uh, also I want to pay your attention that today Alexander, a member of our team, will be helping me and will be answering your questions via chat. So don't hesitate to write to our YouTube chat and we will try to answer all your questions. And um, today I'm going to show you how to create a welcome emails. Yeah, welcome emails. So what is a welcome email? A welcome email is the first impression a company makes with a new customer or new subscriber via email. Welcome emails can deliver friendly hello to establish a relationship with a new contact. Yeah, for example. And according to an WESP infographic, 74% uh, of people look forward to receiving a welcome email after subscribing to a brand's email list. Uh, that's why it's important to send such emails to new clients. And um, the welcome email should consist of uh, introduction to your business, personalization inside email, uh, thanks for the subscriptions, offer value up front, uh, share useful resources, and you can also add social information about your company, yeah, how they con can contact you. And today we will try to create the welcome email and um, in the process of our webinar we will uh, add a personalization to your template, we will build a menu block and connect it, connect it to other email elements by using anchor links, uh, we'll build diverse buttons by using drag and drop blocks, um, build ML signature, ACA footers, and we will reuse signature footers across other companies. Yeah, And uh, we'll work on images and banners. So how can we create a welcome email in short time? It's really easy, Shell and Pierce. So to save your time, uh, our designers have already prepared such emails and it just remains for you to customize them in accordance with your design and content needs preferences. So to do that, click on the new message button here, uh, switch to the search prepared templates folder and here you can see uh, that we filtered our template by type, uh, season, feature and industry. Uh, so, to find a welcome email, click on the type section. Uh, here we have a list of different categories such as called emails, discount, holidays, uh, order, password reset, etc. So, let's pick up a welcome email. So, where are they? Uh, search, yeah, this one. So, as you can see, we have uh, 19 um, templates, welcome templates. Yeah, perfect. 
So uh, also you can check and preview uh, the whole email template by click uh, on this um, I sign, for example, click here. And this way you can uh, see how this email looks. And if you like it, you can um, pick up this template and uh, edit it. And uh, in this webinar, I would like to use this um, welcome template as an example. So I will click here. Perfect. So now it's opening in our editor. Perfect. Uh, so in this template, I will show you how you can replace the content um, and um, customize it and add interesting features, for example. Yeah. And first of all, I want to make this template personalized, as I said before. So your welcome emails should be highly personalized, since this is the first um, acquaintance and the first impression. Uh, okay. So to make this template personalized, I will add a merge tag. Uh, so the merge tag is a bit of ESP specific code that allows you to insert unique user data from your mailing list into emails. In other words, the merge tags are personalization tags. And you can easily to set up uh, merge tags when designing your emails with Stripe. Okay, so for example, we want to achieve next result. Um, nice to meet you and place here uh, a name. Yeah, for example, nice to meet you, N. Uh, so here I want to put a recipient name. I mean, first name, which uh, depending on the name of the recipient. So how we can do that? Uh, in the top, click on this text and in the top menu here, you can see the merge text um, options. So click here. And here we have uh, different merge tags for such ESP as MailChimp, eSputnik, GetResponse, Unisender, and Campaign Monitor. Um, okay, so uh, I would like to pick up um, the merge tag, uh, first name merge tag for eSputnik ESP. So for example, I'm going to make my uh, sending uh, from uh, eSputnik. Yeah? So in this case, I should use uh, the merge tag related to eSputnik um, email service. So click here. As, and you can, as you can see, uh, the merge tag was um, be added here. Perfect. Okay, so uh, when the email design is sent to the recipient directly from the eSputnik uh, email service, this uh, first name tag would be changed with the data from Sputnik service. Okay, so uh, if you didn't find the merge tag related to your email service, which you are sending, uh, which you are using for sending your email campaigns, yeah, um, you need to contact your email service uh, support and check with them which exactly merge tag should be used for getting um, a first name of recipient. After that, when you get uh, your desired merge tag, you can simply insert um, the merge tag here as um, simple text, yeah? Uh, or you can add your own merge tag in the project settings. So how we can do that? Uh, go to your project settings here. Uh, scroll below and let's find the merge text uh, section. Yeah, perfect. Here. So here you can see merge text uh, section. And uh, if we activate custom text uh, control, we will be able to add um, new um, merge text. Yeah. So here you need to give the name and value. After that, uh, go back to our email template. And uh, our edit uh, merge tag uh, will be uh, will be added here uh, to the bottom. Here you will you will see uh, the custom text folder, and here will be present your edit merge text, which you can use. So this way you can add personalization text to your email. Okay. Uh, so that's all about personalization text, and now time of the images. So uh, showcase your product with eye-catching images. 
A welcome email shouldn't be shy or modest. It's your chance to introduce yourself to interested subscribers the best you can. Okay, so let's start uh, from the image block and add some product photos into ML template. So first of all, I'm going to add um, a new stripe. You can add a new stripe by clicking on the plus icon and I will pick up um, stripe with two containers inside. Perfect. Okay, mm, done. And uh, now I should uh, drag and drop images blocks to my um, containers. Perfect. So we can uh, upload uh, images in two ways. We can upload images directly from our computer, yeah, for example, or we can um, add an external link uh, to our email, yeah? So it's external resource. So you can uh, add any link of your images here and upload the image. And um, I'm going to pick up some images from Accessorize site. So I found this um, uh, site, in, uh, site inside internet and I'm going to show you how you can um, copy images and ex as an example and how you can put them into email. So uh, I'm going to start with uh, the bracelet um, bracelets section. So I need to copy four, um, four images. So I will start from this one image. So I want to uh, copy this image to my email. So I just need to copy um, image address and go back to my email, click on my image um, block and um, paste external link and upload it. Perfect. As you can see, uh, the image was added. And let's do with three other images. So with this one, copy image address uh, and put it here. Good. And now I can copy my structure and replace these two images with new ones. So uh, I will copy this image and replace this image with a new one this way. And uh, the last one, for example, yeah, maybe this one. Copy and paste. Okay, perfect. So uh, we get, um, we have got uh, four images. And now I want to give a name for this uh, section with uh, four new images. So I I'm going to drag and drop a structure with one container and I will add um, a text block here. Okay, so now I will type here um, bracelets, yeah? So this is the bra bracelet section. Uh, sorry. Um, bracelets. Okay, so now I want to customize my text. So I will do it as a hidden one, maybe. Uh, then I will make it as bold. I will change um, text color, maybe to the dark gray. Yeah, perfect. And uh, I want to apply um, maybe, maybe like uh, light uh, pink color as a background for my text block. So um, select um, text block and uh, apply background color. Perfect. The background color was added. Excellent. So now I want to do the same uh, with uh, another section. Maybe we will choose um, earrings. Yeah. So now I need to copy uh, four new images from the earring section. So copy link and uh, also to save your time, um, I can uh, copy this stripe and just replace uh, images and text with a new one. So uh, highlight um, stripe and uh, copy its stripe. So perfect. Now just to replace our images this way. Done. Mm. 
just a moment earrings uh, this one copy copy past and do the same with two other copy past and the last one copy and past perfect and now i need to replace the text with um, earrings earrings Excellent. And the last thing I want to do, uh, repeat the same uh, changes with uh, the last uh, topic uh, with the rings. Okay, copy again our stripe. Done. Uh, and uh, Waiting for a moment, something happened with the internet connection, I suppose. Let's wait for updating. Yeah, perfect, now. And let's copy these images. Replace the first one. Second one, third one, and the last one. Perfect. And um, replace uh, the text with uh, rings. Perfect. So now we created three uh, stripes with different categories and with different uh, images. And now I want uh, to show you uh, which additional changes you can apply to the image block. So, for example, let's click on the prepared um, image block uh, here. Uh, you can see edit image button. So, this um, option allows you to make some changes to the um, image inside um, uh, image editor. Okay, so here you can um, apply any filter to this image. For example, you can choose um, black and white uh polaroid uh, or another one maybe i will choose this one okay and apply it perfect then uh, you can resize your image you can crop it and transfer uh, moreover you can draw on it you can add text over it you can add shapes stickers frame and in my case i'm going to add um, such kind of frame maybe so here you can uh, choose some um, frame you like, not this one, maybe this crunch. Yeah, perfect. So I will pick up this one and apply it. And also you can make your corner around it and uh, you can add background in this case. Okay, so I think my image is ready and I will save it. Okay, uh, so perfect. And as you can see, our image was modified and uh, below Mm, you can add a link to image to this image so for example uh, you can add a link to the general page of your uh, site maybe uh, go to the main page copy a link and uh, paste it here so you can um, add any link you want so you can add mail file uh, telephone site links etc so uh, what it means, uh, we added this link and when you send this um, email template to your recipient and your recipient click on this image, 
uh, he will be redirected to the main page of your um, site. Yeah, so it works this way. Perfect. Uh, okay. And uh, now I want uh, to show you how to work with banners. So banners, it's, uh, sim mm, it's similar to image block, but it uh, has more features. So uh, I would like uh, to place my banner here. So let's drag and drop a structure and uh, put a banner block here. Click on the banner and uh, let's upload um, any image you want. So uh, I prepared the one image to my banner, so uh, I will upload it. Done. Okay, so here you can uh, choose uh, orientation you like, uh, vertical, square, horizontal you want for, uh, and I, yeah, and I will use um, square orientation. And also you can uh, reduce or increase the banner height. So I'm going to reduce it. So maybe let's do it as 400. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, also to the banner, you can apply any filter you want, uh, etc. For example, light blur. Uh, here also, as to the image block, you can add a link to your banner. So if you add a link, your recipient could um, follow this link if he click on this banner. Uh, and now I want to place additional picture over my banner. So also I prepared a um, small logo uh, with transparent uh, background. Uh, this way uh, you can replace your logo and uh, also you can uh, change uh, its uh, size. Yeah, you can increase uh, height uh, or you can make it wider, etc. So, oh, sorry, uh, I think it will be okay this way. And the last thing what I want uh, to do with my banner is to add um, a text over the banner. So click on this um, icon uh, from the um, top panel and uh, place the text here. So I will write uh, maybe save 20% with blah blah promo code. Yeah, maybe this one. Save. 20% and now I will add a new text block uh, with, uh, for example, with uh, S20 promo code. So this way you can um, increase the text. Okay, now uh, I want to increase um, text size. So you can do it uh, using top panel, maybe as 50. Now I may, I'll make it wider. And here also you can um, pick up color you like, maybe this violet. And uh, do the same with another text block. Uh, maybe, maybe I will leave it and uh, I will change color also to violet and uh, I will increase the promo code. So I will make it maybe as uh, 63 and make it as bold and italic. Perfect. Okay, so this way you can uh, make, uh, you can create your banner. Yeah. So that's all I think about banner. Perfect. Uh, now let's build a menu block uh, with the names of our categories, which are uh, earrings, uh, rings, and uh, bracelets. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the menu block, uh, as I, as I can see, our designers already have um, prepared uh, menu block. 
So the menu block is like a navigation bar which redirects you to the desired section. Uh, so I'm going to connect my menu block with other email elements by using anchor links. So um, by using anchor links in email newsletters, you let recipients skip some parts of emails and to get directly to the necessary ones, for example, to this section or to this section or to this section uh, without scrolling on and on. Yeah. And before we talk about how to use anchor links, I would like to mention uh, that links uh, of this type were corrected not in all email clients. So here um, you can see uh, which email clients support anchor links and um, who doesn't support it. Okay, so go back to my email template. And um, I will delete this one and uh, create a new. Uh, delete it. So let's pick up um, menu block and put it here. Now I should give uh, correct names to my item. So the first item will be bracelets. Yeah, bracelets. Uh, the second one will be will be will be earrings. As I remember, earrings. And the third one will be rings. Okay, perfect. And now I want to customize uh, the appearance of my menu block. So I will change the link color to gray one and uh, I will increase its size to 20 and make it as bold. And uh, if you would like, you can add separator to your uh, menu block, maybe. I think it's cool. Uh, also, you can, um, you can apply uh, link colors, background colors uh, for each separate item, for example, this way. Yeah, so I'm not going to use it, so I will stay this transparent. Okay, perfect. Mm. So let's uh, link it with anchor links. Uh, first of all, I need to highlight the text block with the bracelet's name. So click on the text, go to the left uh, settings menu, and here you can see add an anchor link control. So we need mm, to activate this control. And now we should give anchor's name to our uh, section. Yeah. For example, I will give this name uh, bracelets and uh, item. Bracelets item. Perfect. Done. Now go back to our menu block, click on it. Uh, and find the first item where bracelets place. So, perfect. Here we need to connect uh, this menu item with the bracelets um, photo section. Yeah. So, need, uh, we need to click on the link option, scroll below, and here uh, at the bottom uh, we see anchor link section. So as you can see, here is uh, our um, anchor links, which we added a few minutes ago. So choose it and perfect, it's done. So now we should repeat uh, our actions with earrings and rings. So scroll below, uh, click on the earrings text, uh, earrings text, activate anchor controls, uh, and give correct name, maybe earrings item. Done. And now let's repeat the same with rings. Uh, choose um, rings text, activate uh, anchor links control and uh, give the anchor names item. Perfect. Now uh, we should uh, go to our menu, uh, select it 
and let's uh, add uh, anchor links to the earrings uh, section. Uh, scroll below and uh, connect earrings item and uh, do the same with uh, rings. Perfect. Done. Okay. Uh, now let's check how our anchor links, um, how our anchor functionality works. Uh, to check it, we need to send um, a direct test from Stripe uh, to the email client, so which support anchor links. In my case, uh, I will use Gmail box and I will check uh, our email there. So click on the test icon and uh, I'm going to send this to my Gmail account. Pending. Uh, open my Gmail box. Uh, here we received our test email. And uh, now mm, to check our end links, uh, you need to click on uh, any item, for example, on bracelets, earrings and rings. For example, let's click on the ring section. Perfect. As you can see, uh, we were um, we were transferred. Yeah, we were directed to the ring section, so we do not uh, need scroll this uh, email. Let's check our earring section. Perfect, we were directed, and let's check our bracelets. Yeah, excellent. So as you can see, our ankle links um, are working. Also, to find detailed instruction how to use um, anchor links uh, inside our editor, uh, please go to our help center. So from the main page, scroll below and here you can see help center uh, item. Click on it uh, and uh, type uh, anchor. Done. And here you see um, our article, how you can apply the anchor links. Yeah? So here you can find the, the um, description and instruction. And also you can see which uh, my clients uh, support it. Uh, and uh, moreover, I want to pay you attention that uh, inside our help center, you can find a lot of interesting and useful articles. Uh, and um, read them and use uh, for, for your future campaigns, yeah, for example. Excellent. Uh, okay, uh, that's all about our, about our anchor links. And now uh, I want to say you that welcome email mm, might offer several different buttons to allow your contacts to learn about your brand or products. <clears throat> Sorry, and let's try to create buttons uh, buttons inside our template. So first of all, I recommend you to apply um, one general style for all your new buttons inside the, uh, inside your uh, email. Yeah. Okay. So as an example, let's drag and drop any button to our email. So here, drag and drop button. So this is our button. And let's start from the appearance uh, button settings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we can choose um, general button color and font color. So for example, let's change it to um, uh, blue one or uh, make it again uh, as white and font color or you can also change it this way as you can see it was changed and let's uh, change it again mm, also uh, you can um, choose text style for your button so here you can uh, pick up font style mm, you can uh, choose uh, button uh, Oh, but text size inside your button. You can apply uh, some styles. You can make it as bold or italic, for example. Uh, below, uh, you can make your bar. Uh, you can make your 
button is um, rounded yeah so here you can apply border radius this way okay for example let's make it as 20 yeah perfect as you can see our button corners were rounded let's make it as one again uh, and also uh, you can apply border to your button so here um, you can change its color yeah you can uh, pick up a line you like and uh, make it border for example and also you can uh, apply border only to the side you want for example you can um, you can remove border from the left uh, and right side this way okay mm. and in the end uh, you can um, you have an ability to set internal paddings for your button you can uh, increase left, right paddings, uh, top paddings, uh, or you can remove them, and etc. Okay. Uh, besides, uh, we can activate highlight hovered buttons control. So what it means, uh, if I move my uh, mouse um, over the button, as you can see, uh, it changes uh, its color. So it uh, depends on this option. And uh, now we can apply highlighted button color. Let's make it as um, pink. Uh, also, we can uh, change highlighted text color inside button. Let's make it as um, dark blue, yeah. Uh, and uh, also you can set highlighted border, co uh, border color. Let's make it maybe as red. So let's hover our button so uh, this uh, option could be achieved uh, using this highlight hover buttons option and in addition i want to say that you can activate the support of outlook button control uh, so why should we activate it uh, because this option ensures the most accurate of your buttons in outlook ma client if this control is not activated, the appearance of the button may be broken, as Outlook su mm, doesn't support most tiles. So that's why we created this control, and uh, we recommend you to activate this control if you make sending uh, to Outlook clients, yeah, for example. Okay, and now uh, click uh, on the direct button. And here on the left uh, menu, you can mm, write the button label, for example, finding a store, yeah, uh, finding a store, a store. And uh, now we need to, to add a link to the button above. So, for example, uh, as an example, I will show you how we can do that. So, yeah. You can click here, for example, store location and copy uh, the link and place to this field. Yeah, and let's check how it works in preview. Scroll below and find our button. Yeah, so if I click on this button, I will be redirected to the link I edit. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so that's all with our buttons. And the last thing uh, I'm going to show you today is how to create signature ACA footers in the email template. In other words, how to create footer with contact uh, info, information, and socials. Yeah. Uh, in our example, we already have. Uh, we already have our footer with socials and I want to show you how you can uh, create your footer in few minutes using our pre-built models. So to do that, um, go to the model section, pre-built folder, and here our designers created lots of different models. Yeah, for example, uh, headers, banners, 
product cards, info on orders, uh, signatures, footers, and other categories. Yeah. So I want um, to find uh, models from the footers and signature section. Done. So now you can uh, see all our signatures and footers. You can uh, check them and pick up one you like uh, best. Uh, yeah. And drag and drop into our email. Maybe I like this one and let's drag and drop it here. Okay. So I have added um, pre-built model and here as I see was applied a uh, white uh, link color for the menu box. So let's change it to black. Done. Okay, so what should you do? If you like this uh, signature, you just uh, can replace this information with yours. For example, just replace uh, this image with yours. Uh, change the text uh, to your description, yeah, this way. Or if you don't uh, need this text, you can remove it. Uh, here you can add uh, your uh, socials. Uh, here it's a menu block, so here you can change it, and etc. Yeah, and also um, you can uh, apply your social networks. Yeah, so here we have four uh, social sites Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. So if you are not going to use Twitter, you can delete it, and to each uh, social, you need to add uh, your link yet yeah, you need to change it with yours and um, also you want to add more social icons by clicking this uh, icon yeah so here we have um, three sections with socials uh, uh, chat and others so this way for example let's add um, google play i don't know maybe this one and uh, apply uh, responding links to it uh, also you can resize the um, social icons and uh, you can pick up uh, style of our socials uh, you like moreover yeah for example maybe 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 this one okay perfect and in this case um, your future yeah your signature will be ready and uh, also i want to pay you attention said you can save this signature in your uh, own models and use it in the future for all your new email messages and templates across the projects. Yeah, so you can save your time and uh, not uh, to create the same uh, features uh, again and again. Just uh, save it uh, one more one time and reuse it with uh, other your email templates. So how to do that? Uh, choose the needed container, structure or stripe. So in my case, uh, I want to save structure. Uh, highlight it. Click on the save um, as model button. Mm -hmm. uh, add uh, a name to your model, for example, footer. Uh, choose the category, give the model description if you want and save it. And um, our saved model will be available um, for other email templates uh, in the section under my models folder. So here you will see your saved models. Here you can um, sort your model by the name. So as you can see here, our saved model. So you need just drag and drop it and put inside your email. And uh, also you can customize it, um, add additional blocks to it uh, and etc. So this way you can reuse um, your saved model to save your time. 
So guys, I think uh, that was uh, all main things that I wanted to uh, to describe and to show you today about welcome MS and uh, other useful things, yeah, such functionality of our editor. So if you have any questions, uh, you can write to our chat and I will answer them. So if you have any questions, please write your questions. Okay, guys, so I do not see any additional questions. So uh, thank you so much for your attention. Thank you for joining our webinar and um, have a nice day or have a nice evening and see you next time. Bye bye.